you can see it coming through the firewall, it comes down, 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 and eventually it goes into return into the fuel sump. Not very clear here unless I move that panel out of the way, but it's um, there's a fuel sump just in there, the same as on that side there, and it returns to the sump. So we've got a circulating system here with a 10 gallon reserve. Now, from the back of the the um, gascalator, there's also a primer line that runs all the way down through the, um, the the cable conduit all the way along here, right the way through through here um, with all the electrical cables and back up to the instrument panel where it it comes in here and um, you can see here the, the primer line, you can see a slight step here, that's because I covered the primer line all the way down with um, Nyloflow tubing um, so it's measuring pressure, now the black line behind it is my manifold pressure being monitored on the uh, manifold actually it's on the other side to the pressure regulator valve um, it also feeds my manifold pressure for the um, um, EPUS um, and I then feed um, this gauge here and so this gauge here measures differential pressure it's purely a mechanical gauge, I got one because it's cheap, it was inexpensive, it was like $30 at the Fly Mart in, um, at Oshkosh um, I'd like to replace it with an electronic one um, VDO do make an electronic uh, differential pressure sensor um, and I can put that on the, on the gas escalator. I do have a regular pressure sensor on the gas escalator, but that measures just absolute uh, or pr um, PSIG gauge pressure, not absolute pressure. But um, this seems to be really good in that um, when the uh, engine's running, it sits at 34 pounds and just doesn't move. If there's anything wrong at all with filters or anything in the system, if any tiny sort of fluctuation, it shows on that gauge and it's so important on automotive conversions to, to be able to determine whether you've got constant fuel pressure.